what you're talking about, man. You know, we're we're part of the uh, the the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, streaming. There we go. Y'all, y'all ever hear about this long lost place called the Andromeda System? Uh -huh. we're, we're like Ooh. all quiet because we never heard of it. You making stuff up there? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who would name a system on Dramada? <laughs> Crazy spacefarers. Mass effect campaign. All right, I think we are pretty much good to go, right? Everyone's here. I just realized I'm the only one who uh, used Hero Forge to make their character. Well, I'm sorry, but Hero Forge didn't have any fucking jellyfish options. <laughs> you had one job. Yeah, it's pretty specious. Yeah. Yeah, like creatures with gas faces, you know? Guy's whole face is just a, a, a gray cloud. Also, maybe you guys could pick the superior race that allows you to be made on Hero Forge. Hmm. Hey man, you mean racist, Brax? <laughs> Fuck that, Brax. Yeah. Did I, did I stutter? <laughs> Damn, being all space racist. Oh, uh, hell yeah, man. Someone's got me. I mean, I understand racist. if it's a bolus, but. All right, bud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me uh, start things off here. So, um, let is yep, stream is going. We're good. So, um, yeah, welcome to Mass Effect. Um, there probably is a couple of people that haven't played this game before, um, but that doesn't matter. I'll you know if you got any questions about you, you may run into some things you know later down the road, then I'll answer it. And whoever played Mass Effect, I'm sure would recall as well but um yes this is going to be uh set in the year 2191 so that's roughly uh five years or so after the reapers were destroyed and uh pretty much the reapers are uh you know creatures that are set to you know every thousands of years to attack and um kill every civilian to give it like a uh, a purge of sorts to every species um so that was done um and uh you know let me think here so we got the reapers done the geth were also destroyed which were kind of like androids um that were created by the quarians uh and there was once a station called the citadel um it's pretty much like a hub for political stuff like if there's invasions of or wars or stuff like that and then also there's uh marketplaces everywhere in that place uh and that was destroyed due to the uh the attacks of the reapers they had to use that as a catalyst to destroy it um and with also with that is the mass uh relay gates they are the ones that help uh, spaceships, whatever you have, uh, travel from one system to another fairly quickly, like, you know, within an hour or two. Um, but they were destroyed um, after the results of that war. And um, it was 
basically known to you all that uh, there was a human that helped uh, with this, uh, you know, war, the Reapers. Um, what, what was known as like a sort of, uh, I guess, a hero. Yeah, his name was uh, Commander Shepard, Commander John Shepard. Um, he was, you know, responsible for making sure that the whole universe was kind of in order. And then as um, they they heard about the Reapers, you know, Shepard had a team with him and uh, they uh, pretty much conquered this part of the war. Uh, so, you know, thanks to this hero, uh, he just made sure that the galaxy is saved from this cleansing of the reapers as mentioned so uh you know it, it's called a cleansing phase uh and it was like a cycle like i said every thousands of years probably like fifty thousand years um and the reapers were created by an unknown species you know eons ago um and uh Eventually, the Quarians decided to uh, rebuild the Geth because, again, the Geth were kind of like um, cyborg sentient uh, beings um, that were uh, made by the Quarians. But then, you know, they did eventually um, let uh, one of the, the Geth was part of the team called uh, Legion. They let Legion upload a pretty much a file, like a virus type thing to all the other Geth that were around so that they have like independence, you know, they, they think for themselves. Um, but the Quarians were so, um, distraught with that, but, um, Shepard convinced the Quarians to let that happen. So, uh, when that happened, you know, the Geth were free thinkers. They were um, helping people when needed. Um, but of course, after the fact that the Reapers were destroyed, um, the sentient beings, uh, AIs, all that were just kind of wiped out. Um, and uh, so they, they're, the Quarians are um, finally uh, rebuilding the Geth. It took a couple of years to debate. They love to debate. If you don't know what you know, they do as Quarians, they, they, their military force is good and they just politically um you know sound they like to uh deba debate a lot so um it took a couple of years and they agreed that they're slowly making prototypes of geth um there isn't really a complete one as people uh remembered from like five years ago um and uh eventually um one of the old normandy crews named of uh tally zora um she is pretty much supervising the whole setup of the Geth, making sure everything has worked as before. Because obviously she was one of the um, first-hand Quarians to see that the, the Geth were actually good. Like, they have their own, you know, free thinking. They, they don't mean harm because, you know, ever since the Quarians, like, disagreed with the Geth and started, you know going crazy it, it, it's because of the Quarians um and they 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 were going into war with the Quarians because the Quarians didn't agree with the Geth um and then eventually um the uh the the ships uh you know they they were upgraded to uh the FTL faster than light they, uh, you know, since the Mass Effect relays uh, are gone, um, Engineer Adams was one of the Normandy crewmen that um, helped with uh, pretty much building uh, something that's stable enough to be close to Mass Effect relay uh, speed, so it's not as uh, slow as before. Because before, if you go through one system to another, it could take, you know, days to weeks, depending on how far they are. So they're, they're pretty much close to Mass Effect relay speeds to help, you know, uh, navigate through the systems more effectively. So it, you know, takes probably uh, a couple hours or so till you get to another system. Um, and... Do, 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 do. Can I ask a question? Yeah. 
um what exactly were the geth and quarians like debate like beefing over what was the main divide there uh well the quarians didn't agree with the geth uh because the geth was slowly realizing that they could be independent right but since the quarians are creators of the geth they um you know they just had beef because it, it felt like it was slavery pretty much right okay you know and then all of a sudden the geth was like fuck you we're gonna kill everything but then one uh geth in particular the legion was not like that and that's why he had the belief of uploading that virus uh to clear up everything on the geth side to make them f be free thinkers and the quarians actually see that they are actually reliable so that's that's what that's what caused everything all righty so um let's see so everyone um you know was uh trying to rebuild uh since you know there's massive losses uh, uh not exactly sure about like how many people are gone or anything like that but um you know the mass relays are slowly being rebuilt um they're saying that um all the mass effect relays are probably around 15 percent done on rebuilding it's they're massive so it's going to take a while for them to get rebuilt for everything um and the original part of where this whole reaper war started was at the earth system the soul system they call it the the local cluster um and the uh mass effect relays were used originally on that spot to um you know it, it fires a beam from that catalyst that um the citadel had um it's secretly a weapon and when they fired that weapon it, it like i said it sh shot a wave of data so much corrupted data to get rid of all the uh the reaper sentient beings stuff like that and in that result it destroyed the mass effect relay gates um now since the citadel is gone um eventually um you know they had to get the the order back in place so this uh the council um which is part of the the citadel there the political stuff um the council is consisted of three members um, there's one uh, Solarian, one Orion, one Turian, um, and um, there was a human, but that person was uh, <laughs> was killed uh, because he backstabbed the crew. Uh, he backstabbed the council because he wanted power. So um, there currently isn't a human um, council member at this time. So they're the ones that are kind of the legislators of uh, making sure the universe is in order, um, you know, doing what they can to provide peace and in, in order. Uh, so, uh, you know, everybody knows about the council. Um, everybody knows about Shepard. Um, everybody knows about the war. Uh, you know, the it's been, like I said, roughly five years since that happened. Um, so it, they're slowly being rebuilt um and i think that's pretty much the idea so far so you all uh collectively got either hired or trained depending on what you decide what your backstory is but pretty much you you were selected to help see if you could continue the 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 order the legacy that uh commander shepherd did and as far as like making sure you protect the universe now you don't necessarily have to be uh, a good person you know you you just have you know you could be a mercenary you know something like that but pretty much um you all got hired into this and um you know obviously this is your your first time meeting each other once you uh, meet each other here um you are all starting out at a space station uh waiting for a shuttle arrival to this uh spot the council spot they call it the flotilla council which is which you'll see later is a bunch of uh ships that are kind of close knit to each other and then there's a big ship there that you go to uh meet the uh point of contact so 
<laughs> um, so at this point, I'll say that you all are at the space station here. You all are just kind of meandering around at, you know, the, the docks there waiting for a shuttle um, in probably about an hour or so till the space shuttle arrives for you to uh, get in there and uh, head over to this flotilla co council. So at this point, I guess you could do whatever you want. Um, you all are just standing or sitting, deciding what you all want to do. Have we been introduced to each other? Oh, that's what I'm saying. You all are standing around. You, you're, you, you, you just walked into the room in the docks. So you all are just, uh, you all have the same, you know, um, uh, schedule to get into the shuttle. So you all are talking to, you know, I guess whoever's checking you in, and then you're just kind of sitting around. You're not introduced to each other yet. So you're just kind of, um, Basically, this is just a way to see how you all react to each other, because, uh, you know, you all are hired to do the same thing. Do we know that we're all here for the same thing, or, like, are we all just here? Uh, for now, I, I would assume that you would be, um, because you all uh, were kind of next to each other, you know, waiting um, and, you know, checking in on this uh, dock worker to ask about, you know, the certain flight and that. They're like, yeah, wait here for this long. So, yeah. So, we, we all know that, like, we're here for the exact same thing? All right. Yeah. You all have this this knowledge of having the same sort of uh, uh, mission, I guess, that you all uh, got assigned for. Excuse me, Squire. Will you pass me my drugs? Yo, what? Did I not give you a bag of drugs to hold? I'm pretty sure this oh, one yes. handed you a large bag before we arrived here. Yes, I hear you. Oh, how impolite of me. Does anybody else want some drugs? I'll like walk. I'll be, I'll be coming in the room. I'm like, is a party going on in here? Well, not quite yet, but once you let this one out of the cage. I might be in the wrong room. I'm here for a mission. As are we. A mission can be even better with drugs. At least that's what this one thinks. My name. This one's name is Opold. And you would see this giant pearlescent jellyfish. It kind of like, it looks pink, but when you look at it from different angles, it shines different colors. Very trippy looking. Okay. Like, well, I met strangers. I'm like crossing my arms and like tilt my head a little bit. Like not familiar with the creature. Like, I will have some of those drugs though. Do have a uh, this one does have a question though. That's a friend. Do you have anything to do for the next couple days? Besides this mission? Mm, no. Don't think so. I need some I need some credits. Well, these are mind fish from Kaji. And for species like this one, for the Hanar species, they are the equivalent to alcohol, but for you, they might they might mess you up for like two, three, maybe a week. I mean I'll try it out. That's Squire, you heard the man pass him some drugs. Okay, yeah, so. be careful with him. <laughs> the name's Strebby. Strebby? Strebby Gazanara. Nice to meet you. That's Gazanara nice with you. a G? Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> you said your name was Opal? Opold. 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 Like okay. Ope and then Old. That is That is my face name. That is this one's face name. 
Opal, what about your uh, companion here? What's his name? Oh, I've been calling him Squire. I think it's Thay... <laughs> um, Thomas? My, my name is Thano. Thano Droin. His name's Thano um, Kroji. <laughs> nice right. to meet you, Thano, Squire. No, 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 no. He He's this one, Squire. You don't call him Squire. I call him Squire. This one, Thano. Okay. Yes, don't disrespect him. All right. It's impolite. You guys nervous about this job? Seems like pretty easy work. Squire, what is our mission again? What are we doing? We are here to try and help find ways to travel faster so we can help my people. Yes, we are here to find ways to travel faster so I can help my people. <laughs> I like raise the space drug like a glass and figure out how to take it. I have no Just idea like how alcohol. these fish actually look in the lore. I do them by squeezing them and like the juices fall onto the top of my jellyfish form and they just kind of soak in. Okay. You're free so... to do them however you'd like. Yeah, you you you, you need idea. to tell me you tell you tell me how it is, and then I'll make you roll for it. <laughs> I'm gonna like fidget okay. with it for a second, make it into like a little like device for my face, like a little gas mask contraption thing. Okay. And I just stick it on the bottom of it, like it looks like just like a like an inhaler tube on a gas mask. <laughs> okay. Can I can I, can I medical ch medicine check to see how that like to guesstimate how that'll like mess him up? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Why not? Like I'm just sitting there watching. <laughs> and then, oh, and then... see the you'll see yeah, like that... the Quarian mask like start to change colors, like go all crazy. Like I, I fully <laughs> warned you that this is not for your species. True. And then, uh, so you're 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 consuming this right now, right, uh, Strevy? Yep. The okay. Breathing it in. Roll roll the Constitution. <laughs> uh, I rolled a medicine check of twenty four. Okay, for you. Concerned? For you. <laughs> It depends on how he is, but uh, for, I would say you probably should check on him. I'm not sure yeah, if you'll you see, see like the lines <laughs> on the mask strobing. Okay, so as you inhale this, um, it, it takes a second, but then uh, like if people are watching you right now, after the second passes by, you can see him like sway a little bit, and and you, you're. Your kind of, your head's like all uh, swaying back and forth, and uh, you know you, you feel like you're having a good time, but like it takes a couple of minutes, and this is where you should probably check in, Brax, and be like, uh, you know, because he looks like he's about to pass out. I mean, I could just observe for medical True. purposes. True, you could too. But I'm gonna walk over and uh, you know just wait around beside him. And when it's clear that he's about to, like, pass out, I'm going to help guide him to the floor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is what's happening. Like like I said, he, he's, like, swaying back and forth. Uh, his head's you know, swivels around a little bit. You're like, hey, what's going on here? And then you just pass out. Um, and, uh, you know, I guess <laughs> at that point, um, Caster's, like, slowly, gently making sure he goes on the ground safely. Can you, please, can you please stop uh, distributing drugs on this uh, space platform? Huzzah! I've never seen... Uh, this one has never seen a mind fish get taken in such a way. I wish... Or this one wishes they had lungs. <laughs> and uh, no, I will not. Alright, well, could you please at least stop uh, distributing them to bipedal entities? He, he's not uh, a grand time. His ass is out cold. Would you like some? No. no. No, I would not. Well, hello. This one's name is Opold, and I am the ambassador for the Hanar. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like some drugs? I'm just going to stare at you wide-eyed, jaw slightly open, like, you're what now? I, I'm the ambassador for the Hanar. I come from Kaji. Would you like uh, some drugs? Can I knowledge check to see if these drugs are Sorry, illegal? this one. Uh, yeah. You could, uh, I'll say what, history? Let's try history. Ooh. 
Okay. Um, so I'll say you for that you 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 know there may be some parts that are illegal in the universe, but um, you know I guess well, it depends on the how they place are. We are at. Oh, we're at the current place. Um, yeah. I'll say no because it's kind of rare to see. So no. This is like my equivalent of booze. Yeah. Like this isn't oh, like a okay. drug for me. For you, oh, it okay. is. For me, it's just like we drink yeah. this. You know what? You know what? I, I will. I will take some. I will not partake in it. Uh, but that said, uh, I am going to hold on to some. Well, that is fantastic. <sighs> if uh, you touch it, do not touch your eyes after. This one is warning you. Please do not touch your eyes after. That's a good thing. I'm wearing my gloves. <laughs> yeah. And I'm. I'm going to pull out like a. Like a uh, a container. Drop okay. it in there. Put it. Uh, in in my uh in my my sack um i'm gonna put that on my character sheet okay um mostly because now i might have some kind of uh way to knock people out sure yeah if we need to d perform uh medicine on the ship yeah oh. so what would you call this thing just fish drug <laughs> uh well he called it what mind fish mind fish this is this is a mind fish from mm -hmm. Kaji. There you go. Right. And wh wh what, what, was, what was your name, sir? Uh, uh my, my name's Caster. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna bring this gentleman. Or, uh, is Ker uh Kirby's character like a dude? From what I can tell. It, yeah, them, they, at? he, she. It's a dude. I, I'm gonna bring at? them. I'm gonna bring them to a chair so they don't just, you know, lay on the floor all day. Don't know how long we're gonna wait, so might as well make them. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna be trying to like stand up, like my mask could be red. No, no, you, yeah. you, you gonna be sitting in a chair, sir? Oh my god, man, this, this one can't handle his his stuff apparently. No, I'll sit down. No more fish for you, sir. Go on. There's the chair. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Nope, stop reaching for that. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'll say uh, about an hour passes by while you all are conversing. Um, and then uh, eventually, um, you know, it's getting closer to the departure of the shuttle. And, and at this point, uh, you know, you, you see coming through a... Uh, it, it, there's a guard that's following some sort of uh looks like a volus um and it seems like he's trying to calm him down um as as you know he struts his way into uh this docking area so, you know the guard is like sir sir calm down calm down yeah heads up i don't know how loud this is and i'll i'll, I'll fix it like after the fact because I, I have to like sit down and do it so maybe turn me down i don't know how loud is that um, I mean, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's when he the hits the button, yeah, yeah, he, he button. needs it. Oh All my right. god, you are deafening. I like it. Wait for it. <laughs> oh yeah, see, god. that's loud. <laughs> Is it loud? Yeah. I, I had you turn down, I didn't hear it. Yeah, it's a little loud. It's a little, it's a little loud, yeah. Start turning down a bit. Keep talking? Uh, well, it's not, it's not like my talk, it's just a sound effect that I have that, that like, is really loud, apparently. Which I've tried to turn down, but it didn't, like, work. I'll, I'll no, well, it doesn't it. matter. Yeah, uh, for the meantime, uh, the the volus breathe like in certain like like ways and patterns. Yeah, yeah. It's a wheezy type breathe. I'm not going to do it with my voice currently because <laughs> I can't do it. But uh, so, anyways, uh, so when the guards like kind of follow me, I, I say, "I hand me, I hand me. I am a biotic god." The guard goes, "Sir." You're you're not some sort of god. I am here for an important mission. I, Get sure out of my way. A, I'm I'm sure. The kind of what what I would do at that point is like uh, try and like put, kind of shove past him and just keep walking and walk to where everyone else is. And I say, "I am Genjaid. You've probably heard of me." Oh, hello, Genjaid. Hello. <laughs> A really good pronunciation. 
Oh, well, I, I, I try to, or this one tries to. It's it's more polite to pronounce people's names properly. And you said you were a god. I have to give, or this one has to give all respect to the gods. I give you a little salute. I'm a bionic god. You visibly see the guard, like, roll his eyes when you call him a god. Bionic god. Yes. Would you like some drugs? Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no drugs. <laughs> no, mm -mm. Uh, no, I thank you. I think if I had drugs, it would probably make me less lethal. Maybe, maybe we can consider this. <laughs> and you else, who are you? I, I, I point around to everyone else around. Uh, I'm gonna so knowing... So, so seeing him causing a fuss, uh, I would have had my hand on my gun, uh, and then I'm gonna slowly like pull my hand off my gun and like close my coat back up. My name is Thano. Yes, Thano. You'll do fine. Yeah. What about you? I'm sure we guys in our famous bounty hunter. Mm. In some parts. Yes, I don't, I don't know if you'll do, but we'll make it work. What bounties have you hunted? All of them. Five five coins, five credits, someone one shot, I'll do it. Five, five, five coins. Okay. Five coins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Name one person you've handed in the bounty for. Some star systems are called credits. Some star systems are called coins, man. I've been, I've been around. What was your name again? Strebby. Strebby. You'll, you'll do for now. And then I guess I uh, point to Brax's character. Hey, you are. Oh man, uh, I, I'm uh, I'm Cash for String. I, I'm a. Uh engineer uh come from uh from alabama alabama oh it's on earth oh god you human can what you, got nice the summer. you talking bowling ball humans were the most recent people before the citadel fell apart sir, and the volus the volus the volus I've been around for eons, and we didn't have a seat at the sure, council. I can't understand you. Whatever, you'll do. You're just another body for the biotic god. Uh-huh, yeah. Good talk to you too, sir. Yeah, give him a fish. <laughs> give him a fish. There's no reason for elitism. This one believes that even the Hanar have a little too much elitism. Yes. You you probably be right. But ever since Commander Shepard has left us, can we at least agree that this entire place has gone to see it? Which species was Master Shepard? Their human clan. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Y yes. I, yes, that's my point. Oh, so but it, you, it doesn't matter. You don't like Shepard? Yes, no, I don't like the Citadel, the Council. Mm. Oh Let's no, see. this guy seems a few bricks short of a wall. And, and Rubik, what, what do you look like? What does Din uh, Jajir look he's, like? He's posted the picture before, but... It's, oh, it's in... You? Yeah, it's in the friend of... Here, uh, I'll show you the token. Hold on. Yeah, I, I can scroll up. Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? Why don't you do a quick... Uh... posted his character? Okay. So yeah, he, he there did. There is. There <laughs> is. In all his glory. All his Where? glory. Oh. And, oh, they're, okay. and they're short, too. They're like yeah. four foot something. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, like, like... they're like fat halflings. <laughs> Put my hand or my tentacle on your shoulder, and I just look right in your little robot eyes and say, Are you sure that this one can't offer you some drugs? You know, I'll be less than lethal. I could be compromised. Do you know where this one can find other drugs? No. You know, it might not be a best idea to go about asking for drugs, seeing how a lot of people uh, tend to get really uh, anal about it. Pretty rude no, I don't, I don't want to do anal drugs. I actually don't even have anal glands. Oh. No, okay. Uh, this is going to be fun. 
but I'm not judging. If you like to do anal drugs, you no, this, no, this not what I was getting at. Judge. Uh, so, uh, hey, uh, guard, what's her name? I didn't catch it. Uh, when, when, when is the transport coming so we can get going? Uh, he looks at the, uh, time on his little data pad. It should be here in, like, ten minutes. And, uh, shortly, uh, yeah, about ten minutes or so, you see a shuttle fly in, and, uh, it's about to dock where you all are at, and, uh, there's a, uh, human pilot that uh steps out and says uh uh you know uh hey this is for the flotilla citadel um anyone around for this and he looks around and sees there's a few people around but then you know he's noticed that uh, they're probably not the people that uh the the citadel needs and he looks at uh, you all and you you must be the guys my squire <sighs> Thano. Are are we the guys? We are them. I, I look right at him, acting all regal. Yes, yes, that is us. We are the people. We are the guys. All right, come on, uh, come on aboard. It'll be a uh, fairly short flight, about twenty minutes or so, half an hour, and you'll see uh, the Fotel oh, Citadel. As, <laughs> as me and. Uh... Uh, Opal, they're walking toward the ship. I'm going to stop it. Kirby, what's your character's name? <laughs> Kirby. Um, if you look at the bottom left of your uh, screen where it says players, beside everyone's name should be their character name except for <clears throat> Rubik and uh, Adam. <clears throat> if you just Strabby. Like it's, Stra it's Strabby? Yeah. Is that how you say it, Strabby? Okay. So, your name is Strebby? It is. It's my name, Thano. And you say you've killed many before in missions? I mean, I don't really kill them. I drag them around and just... And then I get paid money. Sometimes I may have shot somebody in the rib and then they, they died when I dragged with them, but... Well, I'm sure you get paid more than you both, alive, you know? May we both make our Moinkira proud. And I'm just going to continue walking to the ship. Perfect. So I'm guessing everybody kind of follows suits going through the shuttle here. Why well, don't forget my bag of drugs. <laughs> it's uh, right here. Make who proud? I couldn't hear you too well. Oh, me? I'll do it. Yeah. That. Uh, I, I'm on Kira. It's the Lord of Hunters for the drill. They're very, very, very religious. Yeah. Oh, so I basically, gotcha, gotcha. Anytime, anytime I would start doing a hunt, I would, you know, pray to Amon Kira. Yeah. They're, I'll say it they're back they're like that. Amon like, Kira, and I'll pat him on the back and bow. Is, are you a drill as well? No. He's a Korean. Yeah. I like killing people, so might as well, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they're one of the same. Yeah, same same difference, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. Um like Spanish right. respects kind of thing, like. Right, right, yeah. So you all uh hop into the shuttle and you start flying towards the uh Latilla Citadel and uh yeah, about half an hour or so you see uh, you know, there's screens that uh, display the outside of the ship and you could see the Flotilla Citadel there. It's a bunch of um you know, ships, as mentioned, there's starships, cruisers, all kinds. Uh, probably looks like roughly 15, 20 ships all cluttered uh, around. And you see one in uh, that's kind of the centerpiece. And it's the same centerpiece that you, uh, you've you heard or seen at the Citadel. It's the uh, uh, what it looks like the Destiny Ascension. But it's, um, so it's like a huge uh, spaceship, a cruiser that um, the Asari own. Um, and, um, when you get closer, you hear the, uh, the pilot say permission to dock at, and, you know, uh, destination or destiny ascension mark two. Uh, and then shortly after you hear the 
uh, confirmation and uh, you slowly dock into the uh, Destiny Ascension Mark II. Um, so, uh, you know, once you all get settled in and docked, um, the, the shuttle opens and uh, you obviously see the, the ramp going towards their version of the dock inside the Destination or Destiny Ascension Mark II. Um, and there is a uh, an Asari standing there. Um, and she's just kind of waiting there, uh, uh, waiting for the arrival. So, um, you know, she's kind of looking at the shuttle and waiting for y'all to walk out. Got to be some drugs on this place. Said some people might get a little upset about the whole drug thing. Why would people be upset about drugs? They are wonderful. Um... To certain people. You may want to relax that this, a little bit, old bold. Is this about the anal drugs again? No, no, not <laughs> anal drugs. Well, some people can be anal about the anal drugs, you know? Some parts it's not cool. Just, I think Castor just, just wants... Castor, we will find you some anal drugs. No, no, Don't no. Don't worry, just... this one is a master at finding drugs. If you just give this one some time, I will find you some anal drugs. Don't I'm... you worry, let's go talk to this person. And I go I'm... out. I'm gonna chase after him. <laughs> Come, Squire. I'm, Listen, I'm gonna I'm grab him by the arm as he's trying to chase after Opal and be like, "How do you finish it outside of the soul?" Oh, the what now? Soul. It would be the the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I've been earthbound, sir. Getting all so, my training done. What? What he refers to as drugs aren't exactly what you might consider drugs. So keep that in mind. They're not everywhere on, in this vast ocean of space it has the same moral em- as you. Oh, morality got nothing to do with it. I don't want him shooting up morphine. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. No worry, and I'm gonna let him go. I'll let him go. I'm gonna okay. go. Precious morphine is fine. As I'm running away, it was just an example. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm assuming everybody's walking out, and uh, you know, once you walk out, like I said, there's an Asari there, and uh, she she greets you. She goes, "Hi, my name is Sala. Uh, I'm one of the crew members here in the Destiny Ascension Mark II." Uh, I've been assigned to escort you all through uh, this maze of people uh, and whatever we have in here that uh, basically, uh, you know, show you that we're kind of part of the Citadel. You know, we have all these uh, lovely places like marketplaces, even some clubs, bars, if you're, uh, you know, needed there. Um, But of course, this is essentially a carrier ship, so... um, you know, we, we do have defenses and everything, so, um, yeah, if you all will kindly follow me. And, uh, you know, as soon as she starts, uh, is there anything uh, anyone want to say? Some weird tentacle, like, salute thing. Be okay. like, how, how did you say your name? Salaj? Uh, Sala. Sala. Yes. Yes, Salad. Yes. Well, okay. pleasure to meet you. This one is hoping to represent Hanar in the most fantastic of ways, and that one over there, and he points at um, Strubby, is on drugs. <laughs> okay. Uh, and she uh, kind of smiles and kind of like side-eyed for a second, but she's like, all right, if you all follow me, uh, we're going to go ahead and get you to uh, one of the admirals that will help you out with this situation. And then... Uh, you know, she continues to escort you through, uh, you know, some crowds of people. You'll see all kinds of species all around there. There's, you know, Turians and Krogans talking to each other, talking about, you know, random things. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a section uh, where you see some memorial stuff about uh, the Normandy and uh, the crew of the Normandy, Commander Shepard. Um, and there's even, you know, a picture of, like, a group picture of them at the... Uh, citadel there's like uh, a place and you see like um information about where 
that picture was taken and it was at the like some apartment in the citadel like in some get together party and they're all on a couch smiling saluting whatever they do um and there's a number of them and then um the uh eventually you'll uh you know she'll point out different places like like i said there's there's bars there's uh bulletin boards there's um marketplaces if you want to buy things um and uh that's uh i would say about 10 minutes 15 minutes later you know you went through some corridors went upstairs and you were um at a door and uh she uh tells you that this is where um you meet your contact his name is admiral patrick mason um and he is very very um let's just say experienced with these things i'm not sure exactly what um, criteria you all have, of course, but, um, you know, this is where, uh, you'll talk to him and he'll, uh, keep in contact with you. Um, and, you know, let's make sure he's not busy at the moment. I don't think there's any, uh, meetings going on. Uh, and then like, um, you know, she steps in first to make sure it looks clear and yeah, looks clear. Um, come on in everyone. And then, uh, yeah. yeah, so once you all get in, um, you'll see, um, uh, you know, it's pretty much like, a, a conference room, right? But, uh, spacey kind of, here, let me show you. Squire, hold the door for the bionic god. <laughs> kind of looks like this room, you know, it has like chairs, tables everywhere. I don't own a token with vision on this scene. Oh Same. my God. All right, hold on. I can't see anything. I'm blind. How I fix Power one out. Turn on the lights. Out again. Strubby oh, just I'm fucking high. face planted on the ground. I'm like walking into the wall. The corian mask is just I'm gonna just hold blank. the door. I'm gonna hold the door for the Volus. Like, it doesn't look like any god I've known. And that's my strategy. As I'm walking past, I'll like bow to Sala, then I'll smack Thanos on the chest. I'll be like, hey man. He's a god, okay, man. Uh, Token vision. I think you just follow off. yourself. There you go. Does that work? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. So it's, there's okay. chairs, you know, um, uh, tables, stuff like that. It's like a conference center type setup. Um, so you see, uh, basically, it, it's a uh, human male. Uh, his name is Patrick Mason, Admiral Patrick Mason. Um, he looks uh, maybe late 40s in age. Um, he has uh, dark brown hair. Uh, looks like a very groomed goatee. Uh, green eyes. Has a small scar on his right cheek. As looks like it might have been from a blade of some sort. Um, he wears the standard high officer rank uniform as you would see all around uh, the Citadel and CSEC and all that. Um, so he just kind of Stands there looking through data pads, and then as you all walk in, he, you know, looks at y'all and just gives a nod and a smile, and he goes, "Welcome, people, to the Flotilla Citadel." Um, so he kind of goes through the data data, data pads and stuff, and uh, and I see, he goes, "Oh, I see, we're missing a couple of people here, but that doesn't matter. I'm sure they'll show up at some point." Um, so I see that. Let's see, we got a. A Volus here, yeah, yep, yeah. and I, I, you know, he looks down, uh, and sees a Volus, <laughs> and then, uh, he, God, uh, uh, excuse me, sir, a God, a biotic God, biotic God, okay, okay, he kind of shrugs that off. Um, next is, uh, looks like a Drell, a Thano, is that it? That is correct. All right. Welcome aboard, sir. I think you did well, according to this uh, information here. You seem to be uh, well diversed in your uh, expertise, so to speak. Um, and then we got a, a Hanar here. Interesting. He looks at, yeah, Opal. I, I do my weird ass fucking Hanar salute with like four of my tentacles. <laughs> he just nods and then continues on. 
Uh, and then a, uh, a human there. Ah. Let's see here. So you were stationed on Earth. You've never been uh, out of the galaxy there, sir? Sir, I have not. <clears throat> in okay. fact, this is my first time off of, uh, off of Earth. Oh, welcome aboard, sir. This is uh, our grand opportunity for, uh, you know, maybe see if we could set up another crew um, to continue on uh, Shepard's uh, work, so to speak. You know, making sure oh, we no, protect sir. the galaxy. Oh, no, sir. I don't, I don't intend to, to become the new Shepard. Oh, well, I mean, I'm talking uh, about the crew I'm here itself. I'm to do my job, nothing more. Uh... Understood, understood, sir. Um, you know, at ease in... Uh, he uh, goes through the database um, of uh, through his like little computer here, and then he uh, has another data pad, and then he puts in this. Uh, looks like he puts some information there and puts it through the data pad, um, and he goes, "All right, well, um, here's here's the deal. Um, you know, I know it ain't too much as of right now, but pretty much, uh, like I said, the idea is to." Uh, bring up a team um, based on qualifications, background work, all that stuff to, uh, you know, protect the universe of what's going on. There, there's still mercenaries around. There's, you know, Cerberus, you know, there, there's all kinds of bad people out there. And we're trying to make sure we maintain order here. And this is what we do in the Citadel. Um, and um, and here, and he pulls out the data pad. Um, this is information for your first mission if you want to accept it. Um, and it looks like there is some sort of um, conflict going on at a uh, desert planet called uh, Astera. Um, and, uh, you know, since you all are sh showing up here, uh, I think it is good that we do uh, give you all a 20,000 credit bonus um, so that you could get stuff if you need it. Um, I'm stumbling around, catching up. Are you still? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's the quarry, and we're missing there. Uh, hello there. Uh, I think, and uh, he looks at the data pad. Y your name is uh, what is it, Strebby? Strebby, yeah, yeah. Strebby Gazanara. Hmm. Okay. All right. Quiet. Quiet. All right. So. Twenty thousand credits, and I, I snapped out of it. I'm. I'm here. Oh, well, welcome aboard. I I swear I thought I saw more people, but like I said, uh, we I think we're missing a couple, which is fine. I'm sure they'll show up at some point. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's something wrong um in the uh Astera planet. There's a it's a desert planet and I think um it's being occupied by the uh the Eclipse uh mercenary group. So, uh we're going to have to send a team out there because there is an outpost there that is run by uh, a small team of researchers and a few military people um, to make sure that, uh, you know, we get some more information on uh, terraforming the planet because there, there, there still are some areas we're slowly um, clearing it up. But there's some more there's some areas there that has uh, what they call uh, black depths. It's like um, gases of different um, you know, like carbon and all that stuff mixed in, like nitrous. And um, if we clear that up, then this planet would be breathable. But, um, you know, there's pa pockets here and there. Um, that's what we're researching right now. Um, and I think it's important to uh, clear that up so that we could actually uh, get that planet uh, breathable, livable, um, and have some people on there to continue research and... Uh, uh, I think that's a good start for y'all. So you expect us to be our task to go to this desert planet and clear up these black gases? No, not the black gases. There's something with the the the, the you know there's some type of conflict going on there with the uh, human uh, camp. There's like a camp there that's full of uh, researchers um, and military people. Oh, there's a few military people. There's not a whole lot of military people. Um, but uh, what the problem is, is that there is a mercenary group called the Eclipse that might have uh, occupied a few spots, um, from what we could tell. And we needed somebody to help uh, lend a hand, so to speak. 
Fantastic. It sounds like a diplomatic mission, which is perfect for an ambassador for the Hanar. Admiral Patrick Mason, would you like to celebrate by doing some drugs? He uh, I, looks I'm at you. I'm going to audibly, oh. like, facepalm. <laughs> <laughs> so he he looks at the Hanar, uh, and uh, he, he kind of chuckles a little bit, and I'm like, uh, no, I, I, I'm good. Um, but, you know, maybe, maybe, I mean, I'm... Maybe uh, some of your crew members might. I, I, I don't judge. I'm not doing it. You know, and he kind of like steps away a little. <laughs> well, I, I do not recommend taking these unless uh, you don't have anything to do for the next couple of days. But hmm. I think that this this one thinks that this calls for a celebration. We are I'm, tasked to go yeah. to a grand diplomatic mission for the Honorable Patrick Mason. Yes. Uh, and, and this calls for getting inebriated. I mean, we do have bars here. Uh, you could go and celebrate there. I, 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 I want to have a clear mind to do my work. And uh, he uh, said, oh, yeah. And, um, you know, it does have a little bit of a price on this uh, mission to start. Um, and it's a total of 250,000 credits. Um, and obviously that's going to be split amongst y'all there. So once you complete whatever is going on there, uh, you know, you contact me or get back here and we'll, uh, you know, distribute accordingly. We need more credits. Especially <laughs> when I'm involved. That's true. There, he is uh, a bionic god. Uh, sir, is there anything in particular you want us to do when we get down there, when it comes to helping the, uh, the, the our scientists. Yes, yeah, he wants to kill them. It's very clear. Uh, no, 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 no. I like caught the shotgun. That can be done. <laughs> I'm assuming kill not, some scientists. No. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Low, it's very clear. The space, no, sir, no, 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 no. Sir, I think I got assigned to the wrong squad. No, you don't need to kill the researchers. What, like I said, we have a research team in the in the uh, desert planet of Steria that needs help from these. Eclipse mercenaries. You need to deal with the mercenaries rather than, you know, killing or dealing with the actual uh, friendly people. Uh, you need to deal with the mercenaries, um, you know, whether that be diplomatic or otherwise. I don't care. As long as you uh, figure out what's going on there, um, you know, why they're doing what they're doing and, um, you know, tell tell me what's going on and uh, you know, I don't care what you do with it. Yeah, w what kind of research are these researchers doing? Does it matter? They're they're assisting uh, the Citadel and all of our. I'm gonna pause for a second. Races. Uh, in species. Greater species. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, in, in achieving greater things, shouldn't really matter what they're doing. It does matter. So, what kind of research are they doing? Uh, uh, you know, it, it it's it's more planetary, like making sure we terraform. You know how the or the the planet is. Um, like you know what what uh, rocks are. Um, I guess interacting with certain gases. You know, boring science stuff. It's not anything really dangerous. It's more of a planet. Uh, stabilization research. What you're trying to say politely is something someone of your uh, stature and intellect uh, don't need to worry about. Yeah, I do need to worry about it. So what, what would happen if the research stops? We wouldn't be able to terraform the planet. Exactly. And you think 250,000 credits is enough? No. It needs to be more. Give me more. Uh, you should at least be grateful that you're at least helping uh, try, try to uh, um Words are hard. You should be grateful that you're at least assisting in such an endeavor, given someone of your... Listen, Earth clan, <laughs> I didn't respond in some data pad. I was summoned for my... Uh, it looked skills. like to me you were escorted by security, actually. <laughs> that is true. That did happen. Yes, but we're not going to talk about that. Listen, listen. No, we're talking about that. We're going to talk about how much we're going to get paid, because $250,000 is not enough. I think $250,000 is completely unreasonable or entirely fair. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the value of credits. See? 
he agreed. I I'm I'm gonna look at. Uh, you said his name was Patrick. Mason, yeah, Patrick Mason. I'm gonna look at uh, Mr. Mason and, uh, sir, I I appreciate the uh, the mission you're sending us on. I will be heading to to our ship. I apologize for. Uh, him. I'll say I'll say um, Din, fuck it, just roll a persuasion. We'll see what happens. <laughs> By technically helping him. Sure, go ahead. Advantage. Uh, I'm just uh, walking away. I want no part. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is, is my first advantage? assignment. Yeah, out of advantage. Go ahead and roll I another. want to put a good impression out. <laughs> Me too, but I genuinely don't know if we're getting ripped off here. I'm not worried about getting ripped off. Uh, so I guess 19. Okay, so 19. Uh, he goes, uh, all right, fine. What I'll do is, uh, if, if, if you, um, give me solid evidence of what's going on here and I'm not, you know, saying, send me a goddamn arm or something. I just want to know, you know, why the eclipse are there. Maybe some type of information, uh, maybe some evidence of what they're doing. Maybe they're smuggling something. Who knows? Um, so if you give me solid data, uh, the, the, the first price is still going to be 250 grand, but if you give me evidence, it'll be 400 grand total. What, what if we get one of them and this one brings them back to you and you can extract the information from them, how you see fit? I mean, if you want to do it that way, that's another, I'll, I'll do 500 grand total. If you bring the guy, let's go kidnap somebody. But first, yeah. I would like to go buy hats. Who wants a new hat? <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is important. First of all, let's test this. Is yes, this loud? Or is it important. good? Is this is this too loud or good? It's loud. Oh god, that's, yeah. that's ridiculous. Yeah. Like loud. I, yeah, just I, send I, me I that file. Oh, one. okay. Sorry, we he, he's trying to adjust it for me. One second. I still uh, have you at like seventy percent. Yeah, no, that's that's super loud. Doesn't even sound like the breathing. It's just. Yeah, I'm gonna try this last thing. If that one's too loud, I got one more that I've. Look, this is important. Okay. Kirby, Good, get up. You need Kirby, to pause. You pause like every few sentences or every word. Uh, how is every this? few words? Oh, still loud. Still. Okay. Still we'll, about we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll drop it. Yeah. We'll drop. But it. so I want to be clear that. Uh, uh, Currently, in the situation, this conversation that we're having right now, mm -hmm. the caster has left, or is he still in this building? He said he walked, he walked away. Off. Yeah, I walked, he said away he walked away. Perfect. After, after I uh, said thank you. You know, here's the deal. And then uh, the angel looks at the rest. <laughs> I just negotiated us an extra close to 250,000 credits. Caster was okay with the 250,000 credits. So I say we do everything he asks, and in that extra two hundred and fifty thousand credits, we split amongst ourselves. Seems rather impolite, especially since Castor would be presumably helping us kidnap this fine gentleman that we're going to be. Yes, but he's also happy doing it for two hundred and fifty thousand, right? I'm not mm. sure he was here when we agreed to kidnap, though. <laughs> yeah, what does he say that? Uh, Din looks at the, 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 what's his name? The, the commander guy that's oh, like Mason, talking. Patrick Mason. Andrew yeah. Patrick Mason. Yeah. looks at, uh, Mason and says, yeah, what's your name? Uh, Admiral Mason. Yes. Earth Clan Mason. We'll just say that Earth Clan Mason told us that we had to kidnap him. So Castle doesn't know. It's an extra 250,000 split four ways. It's, it's, it's almost, it's almost too smart, right? It just seems kind of impolite. Yeah, yeah Although, but it's leaving fine. a meeting before the meeting is called is also very impolite. Correct. And Shrebby, uh, what do you think? Shrebby, get in. I'm like polishing off this like junky looking shotgun. Like, yeah, we can just hide him in the back or something, you know? Like <laughs> He doesn't have to know about it. It's extra credits. See? <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? Exactly. Nothing. It's so we can do it. It's impolite. That's my only grievance with this. You disagree with the bionic god? 
you're going to disagree with the floating jellyfish. <laughs> she, and yes, only she. I can say that. I don't want to hear anybody else say that. Yes, she. When we get back and we get the extra credits, I will take him out to a nice dinner. You don't have the J-Pass. <laughs> the what? Yeah, I do. I do, so. do you have romantic interest? In yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. It's fine. Castor? If we... to, you, do you want the extra money to um, woo Castor so you can maybe procreate with them? Absolutely. If that's it takes the extra two hundred and fifty thousand credits. Well, if it's in the name of love. You hear Mason just sigh loudly. I mean, I don't care what y'all do. You've you've heard the terms. Mason, would you like a new hat? No, this I'm one okay. Is going on the town and getting a new hat. Can I get I, you one? I appreciate the gesture, but no. Well, I've I'm never okay. really seen hats before. It's very interesting. I mean, yeah, I could show you one here. And he pulls out his Admiral hat from uh, his desk there. Wow, but... fantastic. May I have it? <laughs> uh, no. Can I try it on? Hmm. It'd be interesting to see. All right, yeah. I'll let you try it on. I put it on. It looks kind of um, small. On your big jellyfish head. Yeah, it's like just on it's, the middle. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I may meet, need more than one hat. Do you have any more? Uh, nope, not not here. Um, probably one of the stores in the cit citadel here uh, in this uh, ship might have some. Okay, very well. I will go find some other stores. Thank you again, Andrew Mason, Admiral. And I start to leave with his hat on my head. Uh, my Bob hat. Mason, man. It's Bob. What do you mean? It, it's 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 Patrick. <laughs> I'm stumbling away. He he let me leave with his hat. Uh, he's trying to tell you to like stop, but he kept going. It but turns out like, it's like no. The, it's the closet, the it's plastic the wings that pilots give to like children. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's <laughs> like it's not it's not like his I guess ceremonial hat. It's just some hat that like some n7 hat i don't know <laughs> he came prepared with a decoy hat <laughs> yeah so um yeah i mean he, he tries to stop you but he's like i ah, forget it who cares it's just a fucking hat um <laughs> so y'all uh went out of the room uh you got your terms um and I think uh, at this point, I, I, I could call it right here. That would be good enough. Uh, I just wanted to make it an introduction to what you all are dealing with, and it sounds like you got the idea. Um, and I wanted to see if we could delay it anyway till, till uh, Mike and Savage comes in and have their characters ready. And then you all could have a fun RP session, and we'll get, head out to the mission of Asteria. So, uh, I just want to ask about some ground rules regarding the campaign. Yeah. I'm assuming if he's going to attempt to procreate with me for 25,000 credits, are we doing a fade to black system? <laughs> yes, for the love of God, yes. Absolutely, no. he's, he's not going to. For but, the love of uh, Christ, yes. yes. Three hour long uh, ERP. I am yeah, not going to do that. And Alan has to do it, <laughs> no. the entire thing, by himself. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm... <laughs> I want a deeper Earth Clan. Oh my god, that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> roll roll for girth. Ugh. I'm oh, so that's what a D twenty. <laughs> yes, D one hundred actually. Enthusiastically. But um, anyways, right, I'm, I'm gonna knock off twenty because there's no hope hell I'm anything above an eighty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, fuck. So yeah, I think we'll end it here, um, and then uh, you know, obviously next time we'll uh, get more into the mission, um, and we'll continue on, and hopefully Savage and Mike will show up at that point to have more people because this will. Be, I think this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick short uh, mess, you know, uh, session for y'all. I, I love that. All right, and we're alive. Do you want drugs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was, you know, I, that I hat is myself. quite striking on you. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, he's like, I don't care about the hat anymore because yeah. you 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 just floated away. It's a nice looking hat you got there, all pulled. <laughs> so let me well, go ahead and uh, raid someone. I'm pretty sure this means I have military status now. Let me go try. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't you? think that's what that means. I am Admiral Opold. You. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! I actually want to see that. No, you're you're just a Hanar with a hat. Go, goes into a military bar. <laughs> yes, I am an admiral. Rolls deception disguise. <laughs> oh, that would be something to see for sure. I mean, you can't wear a suit. I guess the hat's the best you can do. Alright, let's go ahead and raid someone, shall we? I guess we should raid... It's BHG. BHG's uh, playing. BHG streaming, yeah. Alright, yeah, let's go so, ahead and... So so okay, let's go ahead and give him a raid. Fuck it. Uh, we all... I don't know, probably next week, same time, possibly? We'll see. Um, uh, I ahead. am off next Friday, so we could <laughs> probably start whenever. Okay, uh, we'll we'll gather around and see what what's going on. But uh, yeah, I plan on at least being on Saturdays. The schedule of uh, just depends on the time and stuff. So yeah, uh, um, yeah. As far as I know, I'm only gonna be free Saturdays and Wednesdays. Okay. Like as of the sixteenth, because oh, that also goes for you, Adam. I am most definitely returning to work on that schedule. So I will yeah, be able to do 